Hello, in this video I want to talk about how you can extend arrays and also concatenate different arrays together to get a, a new bigger array. So first, um, regarding extending arrays, you can uh, add new dimensions to, con uh, to already existing arrays using this np.new axis um, just in the normal indexing. <coughs> Instead of np.new axis you can also use the none, so the none object in Python and this will just create a new dimension in the array um, with size 1. Okay, so first we create a one-dimensional array and um, we can turn this one-dimensional array into a two-dimensional array using this indexing and um, writing np.new axis as the first dimension and then taking all of the elements uh, in the second dimension. And this um, turns the one-dimensional array into a two-dimensional array um, and this is just now a matrix with one row and five columns. And as you can see here, the shape changed to one five instead of just five. Um, we can also turn this uh, two-dimensional array into a three-dimensional array. And um, in this case, we can also use this none, um, which in this case is equivalent to the np.new axis. So um, yeah, this made a three-dimensional array, um, which is actually just uh, one-dimensional array still because um, we still have just these um, yeah, five numbers and the um, second and third dimension are just one. Um, so we don't have any columns and we don't have any depth to the array um, but it's just five values um, formatted as a three-dimensional array. And uh, yeah, this NP new axis and the none added two more dimensions here in the shape and now the shape is 5, 1, 1. Okay, and uh, just yeah, a quick remark on why that might be useful. Um, an example for that is if you use TensorFlow, for example, and um, you have a prediction using just a single data point, and um, you have multiple samples, and the, these samples are just in uh, one array, um, but you want to pass that to some machine learning model um, in TensorFlow, then you will have to make that a two-dimensional array because the TensorFlow models accept, uh, expect um, a two-dimensional array. And um, you can do this by using this none or the np.new axis um, here and turn this one-dimensional array into uh, basically yeah, a set of um, yeah, samples that you can use in, in a model, for example. Now, on the other hand, if you want to get rid of these um, size one dimensions, um, NumPy has this squeeze function and squeeze will just remove every dimension from the array that has size one. And um, yeah, in this example here we have this array, um, which is again shape one five. Um, so it basically is just a vector, but stored as a matrix. So it has one row and five columns. And then if we call it squeeze on that, um, this will just become a normal one-dimensional vector again. And we see this uh, size here, the shape also changed. And now it's just the five again. Um, yeah, this works with, um, so this removes all the dimensions that have size one. Um, in this example here, we have um, yeah, a four-dimensional array with three um, yeah, size one dimensions. And if we call squeeze on that, then we'll get just a vector again uh, as you would expect. Okay, now coming to how you can combine multiple arrays. There are different ways to do that in NumPy. Um, the most common ones are probably the append, concatenate and stack functions. And uh, these all work very similarly but uh, can be used for different uh, options. So first the concatenate. This takes a collection of arrays and uh, we'll just concatenate them on um, on the zeroth exit, uh, axis by default, but you can also provide an axis uh, parameter which tells uh, NumPy on which axis, on which dimension it should concatenate these arrays. And here um, we just pass two one-dimensional arrays, so this will just concatenate them on the zeroth axis. And uh, yeah, these two arrays are a range from zero to ten, and then uh, also an a range from zero to ten but reversed. And yeah, as you can see here, this just concatenate the two arrays um, easily. Now, um, 
something that's a little different from these uh, function calls that you've seen before. So for example, the concatenate or the stack um, is this r underscore. And uh, r underscore is a way in Python to uh, concatenate uh, yeah, lists with numbers, so scalars and um, different sized um, arrays. And the syntax for that is a little weird um, because you use square brackets and not parentheses. Um, but yeah, you can just pass multiple objects here and it will concatenate them. Um, yeah, I guess it is yeah, the most clear if I just show the example. Um, so we write np.r underscore and then in square brackets we just provide multiple values which can just be scalars or numpy arrays or even just Python lists and it will just concatenate them into one big numpy array. Okay, um, now np.append. Uh, append actually uses the concatenation, uh, so the np concatenate function internally, but here you can just pass um, multiple arrays and it will append them. Um, yeah. So in the one-dimensional case, this would be exactly the same as the concatenate call, but for append you don't have to pass a collection of arrays, but you could just pass multiple arrays um, directly. Uh, as you can see here, in uh, this concatenate call, we had to wrap these two arrays in a tuple um, because concatenate exp expects a, a collection of arrays. Okay, now stack. Stack um, for one dimensional, for the one dimensional case, um, we'll create a matrix out of these two um, vectors. So it will create a new dimension and uh, stack these on top of each other. And for higher dimensions, um, you can also provide the axis. Um, so where this stacking should happen. Um, but for uh, vectors, for example, um, there are also two convenient methods that are directly implemented in NumPy, which are vStack, so vertical stacking or row-wise stacking, and edge stack, which is horizontal or column-wise stacking. And uh, here we just create two matrices. Um, they're just A ranges again. Um, so here's the first one and then below is the second one. And then we just show uh, the two different functions here. First, H stack, which just concatenates them column wise. So here is now the first um, array and here's the second one. So it was just concatenated to the right, stacked on, on to the right. Um, and now the vertical stack just puts the second uh, matrix here um, below the first one and creates this larger um, two-dimensional array here. 